Feliz Año Nuevo. Bienvenidos a SNN. What's up, SHS? Starting today is School Counselor's Appreciation Week, so show some love to your school counselors, Miss Smith and Miss Wood. Now, here's some kids and teachers showing their appreciation for our counselors. I am thankful for Miss Wood and Mrs. Smith because they are two hardworking women. Um, they are always keeping everybody informed and keeping the students on track on what they're supposed to be doing and when they're supposed to be doing it and just making a lot of progress for our students and our staff. We're here with Ms. Nell. Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Wood um, help us in many ways here at Shallow Water High School. I think the, the um, biggest thing that I appreciate about them is just the people that they are, um, the, the care that they have for students but also the the care that they have for everybody here in the in the office area um, and, and just the commitment that they have to excellence here at shallow water high school the commitment to excellence to all of our students um, and also the commitment of excellence to to what we have going here in the office um, and and how to best help students through scheduling um, but more importantly um, how to help kiddos socially and emotionally uh, along the way so um, they've certainly been here longer than I have and and um, I just appreciate the foundation that they've laid and the patience that they've had with me as, as I've kind of gotten to know um, who they are and then who I am but but it's very evident the the commitment that they have um, to help kids along the way why do you appreciate Miss Smith and Miss Wood because they make my life so much simpler because they give me my schedule and they give me great kiddos and I don't have to stress. And if I've got a kiddo in distress, I know that if I can't get them to, to get comfortable, that I can get them to a place where they will feel comfortable. All right, guys, I'm here with Flo to ask him about how he feels about the counselor. So uh, I feel really good about Shallow Waters counselors because they're really supportive of a lot of the students. Miss Smith and Miss Wood take really good care of us, and they actually care about us and make sure that we're doing well and as good as we can with how the world is around us. And being here at school, I feel so lucky to be here. Hey guys, I'm here with Cooper to ask him why you appreciate Miss Smith and Miss Wood. Well, I feel like the counselors are a really great moral support to kids who are new to this school and like who just have overall like bad experiences at home and stuff. And they just help them out mentally and physically sometimes. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Sierra. So, can you tell us, why do you appreciate Miss Wood and Miss Smith? Uh, they helped me with college. That's good, thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Brooklyn to ask her, why she appreciates Miss Smith and Miss Wood? Um, I appreciate them because I'm very unorganized with all like my college stuff and they kind of help me like know what to do in like, high school and kind of, yeah, they help with college stuff. Thank you. And on February 11th, there will be a Valentine's teacher luncheon. Hot passes are still being sold for $5 until the end of the six weeks. So bring some money. Stuco is having a Tide Pod drive through Wednesday. Bring a box of Tide Pods and you can get two long lunches. All donations will go to the Texas Boys Ranch. Now, on to our class competition where the winning class at the end of the year gets a free long lunch. And after that, we'll move on to Jenna McKinley with Shallow Water Sports. What's up guys, it's the class competition. We got senior Brecken, junior Chase, sophomore Marley, and freshman Landon.
Hi, I'm McKinley. And I'm Jenna. Welcome, Welcome back to Shallow Water Sports. Philly and Mustang basketball are still undefeated through district play, recently defeating Childress. and Mustangs will play Idaloo at Idaloo. Friday, the Phillies and the Mustangs will play Slayton at home. JV at 5, Varsity Girls at 6.15, and Varsity Boys at 7.30. Good luck, Phillies and Mustangs. Kaysen and Alex interviewed some of our players about the Childress game. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, we're here with Jakari Davis. We have some questions for you. What do you like to eat before games? Is there like a specific thing that you have at every game or you just eat random things? I just eat random meat. Give us something else. Maybe like pizza or something. Like Sonic. Just... Sonic before a game? Oh. Maybe that's why I can jump so high. Okay, now what? This is a more serious question now. What is it like to be on varsity as a freshman and be as good as you are? Mm. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Actually, but... Well, I mean, like, did you expect to be on varsity? Like, were you coming in here like, oh, like. No. No, you didn't expect to be? Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, we're here with Tinley. I'm gonna ask you some questions. What is your most embarrassing basketball moment? Um, so sophomore year during the Shaw Arts shootout, uh, the students came to that game. It was like the first probably 30 seconds, and I tripped over my own feet and landed straight on my butt and got the ball on the floor and had to throw it to someone else. It was quite embarrassing. And did you turn it over? No. Well, that's good. That's good. All right, what happened last night in the fourth quarter that allowed y'all to pull away from Childress? Um, well, our defense, <laughs> our defense got a little bit better. We didn't let them score as much. And uh, some of us got a hot hand and <laughs> we were able to score. That's good, 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 good. <laughs> All right, we have another Mustang basketball player, Kieran. And Kieran, what do you like to eat for your games? Um, I like granola bars. What kind of granola bars? Like chocolate chip, peanut butter, chocolate chip. So, you know, there's a um, very variety of chocolate uh, granola bars out there. Probably chocolate chip. What brand? Um, Kirkland. Kirkland, like from yes. Costco? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Those, those are good. Sometimes too before games. So, yeah. your Nissan's are proclivity. All right, anything else before games? Drink? You have a favorite drink? I like Gatorade. What like flavor is Gatorade? I don't know, fruit punch? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, thank you, Kieran. Okay, now we're here with number zero for the Mustangs, Kaysen Stallings, and I'm going to ask him a few questions here. So, Kaysen, what is your, like, full day game routine? All right, well, I wake up, and I go to school sometimes, and then, <laughs> and then, I know, I go throughout the class, and during athletics, we're in shoot-around, and I say, oh, I never miss, and when I do miss, it's just a hologram because I never actually miss. That's very interesting, Kaysen. What is your favorite food to eat before a game? Um, I don't know. I like to eat a variety of things, but I had chicken before last night's game, but it didn't really help very much. I was still really hungry before the game. That's nice, Kaysen. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Great job, Mustangs and Phillies. Softball kicks off this week. 
They play at Odessa, Varsity at 4, and JV at 6. Softball will also play this Saturday against Sundown at Estacado. Baseball starts scrimmaging this week. Varsity has a scrimmage at Seminole against Loveland, and JV has a scrimmage at Estacado as well. Best of luck to our Mustangs and Phillies. And that's all we have for you this week in shallow water sports. And remember, mask up SHS. Okay, in the first lane we have Pumba, and in the second lane we have two-time national champion winner GG. We're off to the start in three, two, one, and they're off. Pumba's on a great start. GG's kind of behind. GG needs to speed it up. And Pumba's getting a little bit distracted with the carrot, and GG's catching up a little bit. GG's coming up. She's gonna make it close. It's gonna be a close race, and it looks like Pumba has actually caught the carrot. They're leading, and Gigi's still distracted. Uh oh, Gigi's gonna catch up. He's gonna win it. I think he's gonna win this whole thing. Gigi's close. coming close. He's coming close, and Gigi wins it. Mask up. And have a great week, SHS.